Hi, I'm Dr. Jennifer Becker. I am an assistant professor in the Department of Communication Studies. Tatiana Zambrano was a student in my fall 2019 course on Honors Interpersonal Communication. Students in the course individually designed, executed, assessed, and reflected upon a semester-long project called the Make a Difference Project. And Tatiana's Make a Difference Project was the most ambitious and effective Tatiana is interested in school psychology, so she worked with a local middle school to destigmatize self disclosure about mental health issues. Tatiana's project truly made a difference in the lives of those 61 local middle school students. Please welcome Tatiana Zambrano. Thank you, Dr. Becker. <laughs> Can you hear me? Awesome. So my name is Tatiana Zambrano, and this is my Thai talk called The Mindful Middle. So a little bit about myself. Um, I'm a senior here at the university. Um, I'm a psychology major, and unfortunately, they are making me graduate, um, which, yeah, I have some resentment towards. But in the fall, I will be a student at the University of Florida, um, a doctoral candidate uh, for school psychology, which I just found out today is fully funded. So. <laughs> Um, but I'm also from Tuscaloosa, uh, so as you can imagine, my entire life I grew up um, with them telling me, you know, you're going to grow up, you're going to go to the University of Alabama, and I don't know about you, but it's a lot of pressure on a four-year-old. Um, but, <laughs> but obviously it was the best decision I ever made, and I have loved my time here. Um, my roles on campus have primarily revolved around the Honors College, um, so I am a Honors College ambassador. I was also a recruitment intern for the Honors College, and I work for uh, UA's Engage Tuscaloosa, where I'm the director of Reed, Alabama, uh, where I send out honor students to local elementary schools, and they help underprivileged uh, children by reading to them weekly. So, my TIE talk is about the mental health of middle schoolers. And what is my goal tonight? My goal tonight is to make you really uncomfortable, um, <laughs> because I want to take you back to middle school. Um, <laughs> yeah, so if you need some reminders, I've got that for you acne, <laughs> we love it, braces, that's fun, puberty, my favorite word. <laughs> um, but some students also, maybe in a new school or maybe with a new set of friends, um, or maybe you're like me and you suffer from a crippling crush on Justin Bieber. <laughs> it's okay, JB forever. Um, <laughs> but what's the point of all this? Middle schoolers are going through so much. Um, it is the most transformative period of life um, but they also are lacking so much emotional support. Um, research has shown that middle school students uh, recognize a steep decline in emotional support from elementary to middle school. Also, um, they have a really uh, confusing period of uh, self-like belonging and really trying to find their way in the world. Um, so why are we not giving them full support um, and where is that support coming from? That's you. <laughs> so uh, most middle school students, when I surveyed them, they said that they relied on their friends for emotional support. Well, I don't know about you, but I think the worst resource for emotional support would be other middle school students. <laughs> um, but another thing that's facing our society um, is school shootings, um, and that's a reality that many communities have had to face. Um, and as uh, human nature, we try to find a commonality in the school shooters themselves. Um, and one of those commonalities is that they are not able to maintain relationships. Um, they really have an emotional imbalance, um, and they really need help establishing those skills in their, in their life. And of course, we all know the most uh, psychologically taxing um, uh, trauma that can happen to a middle school student and that is to be an Auburn fan, and unfortunately my friend Katie here. Um, yeah, she uh, went through treatment and she's okay. She's an Alabama fan now, so we're good. <laughs> so, uh, like Dr. Becker said, we were challenged in a class to do a Make a Difference uh, project, and I decided to do mine at Holy Spirit um, Catholic Middle School. So my project uh, insisted in, um, consisted of a pre-survey um, where I went into the schools and surveyed uh, all the middle school students. 
And then I required all of them to go see the school counselor and attend a mental health session. Um, it's about 15 minutes where they just talk to the counselor about um, what is her role there, when will they ever need her. And then I did a post survey to kind of see the results of what happened. Um, another thing about Holy Spirit is that is where I went to middle school. Um, <laughs> and Henry Fitz, where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> uh, so I grew up with Henry. Um, it's a great school, I really appreciate it, but you know, middle school is a really hard time. Um, but requiring all the middle school students to go broke down that stigma of watching your classmates stand up in the middle of class to go see the counselor um, and the attention being on you. Um, it no longer was a big deal because everybody had to do it. So the results of the project uh, were really surprising to me. So I asked the students if they had already been to see uh, a counselor before. This column is the students that said no, and that column is the ones that had already been. Um, as you can see, a lot more students had never been before. Of the ones that had it, majority of them said that they were somewhat uncomfortable to go see um, a school counselor. That's the red. And then the ones that had, majority of them were somewhat comfortable. So we already see that there is um, a correlation between being comfortable with the counselor and actually going. So be uh, before and after the project, this is the before. Um, we have 8% that were completely uncomfortable to go see the school counselor. Um, and then after the project, that red uh, section is completely gone. So no students were completely um, uncomfortable to go see the school counselor, a majority um, increased to completely comfortable. Another result that I saw, um, I asked the students, would you participate in this project if you knew it helped one or more of your peers? Um, before the project, 11 of them said no. <laughs> I'm not doing this for other people. Uh, but after the project, the pro-sociability really increased because zero students said that they would not go uh, for the sake of others' mental health, and all of them said yes or maybe. So revolutionary. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, oh, just making middle schoolers go to a school counselor, that's not really revolutionary. Uh, but it, the problem is, is that it's not happening. Um, when I went to go do research on uh, forming my project, there was nothing that already existed for me to base this on. Um, it's not happening in, in communities. Um, and when I went on grad school interviews, I got to share the details of my project design um, with other uh, psychologists in the field, and they said, can I, can I do this? Can I copy this? Um, and now that's happening in other communities because of my project. Um, so it really is revolutionary because it's something that's so simple, but it's so effective. Um, we see in the results, and it's just common sense, you know. <laughs> um, this really does impact uh, everybody. So what I want you to think about is, think about yourself in middle school. Maybe something like this could have benefited you. Um, also, something like this could have benefited your peers that were too scared to stand up in the middle of class to go so, to see the counselor. Also, for the students in here, I want y'all to think um, that this was a class assignment. Um, this was just homework but you really have so many opportunities um, to take what you're learning in the classroom and apply it outside of the classroom and really make a difference. Thank you.